everyone is talking about Baldur's Gate 3, even some of my real life friends, they are playing this game and they have like quite some things to say, but you already know IGN would be like, this is 2 out of 10. Bruh. Because whenever a game that promises no microtransactions, whenever the game promises that we're gonna actually be on the gamer side, it gets a 2 out of 10. Like this video if you actually think this game is good, dislike if you think it's bad. Let's see, I... Today we're talking about Baldur's Gate 3. This is the full release of a game that has been in early access since the fall of 2020 believe it or not so oh, damn. quite three, some time almost three years but that version of the game was limited and only a small portion of it where this uh, and here's the thing my first ever rpg game was actually cyberpunk Bruh. i know that's not a good thing to say uh, cyberpunk right now it's actually decent but but you will we all know how it started off right but i want to know about this game this is a everyone's fledged talking. massive finalized release and Baldur's yeah, Gate 3 is a big deal because it's a new full-fledged Dungeons and Dragons based game the okay. original Baldur's Gate now a classic was developed and released by Bioware in 1998 but now in 2023 we have Larian Studios at the helm and uh they're the developers behind the heavyweight Divinity games most recently the bro if this game was in China bro <laughs> There would be zero blood, zero blood. Bruh. Okay, so they have kind of like, it's not, uh, the camera is not completely above. It's kind of like on the side. It, it reminds me of God of War 1, 2, and 3. If you ever played God of War um, 1, 2, or 3 on the PS2, you know the camera, there's like a difference in, in camera, the way it follows you versus the modern day games. It's, it gives me that feeling. Successful and great RPG, Divinity yeah. Original Sin 2. You've probably heard about it. Uh, so now they've been recruited by Wizards of the Coast to go all. Oh man, it has a Raid Shadow Legend like vibe. And I'm saying somebody, uh, as someone that who is ignorant, so don't flame me in the comments that this is my first time checking out this game right now, boys. All in on a new Baldur's Gate game, and uh, the result seems to be magic. So this is out on PC, and it'll be out on PS5 in September and Xbox eventually. And uh, we. Bro, they got normal camera okay this is good i thought the camera would be completely above i've been playing a review copy for the last few days but just know that this came in kind of hot we didn't get oh, it we got a we got a baddie right there it don't just phone phone, guys. no reviewer did uh, and this is a massive game so we want to preface that this is strictly a review in progress you know strong okay first impressions only. Myself and co-writer on this, Eric, have been getting as many hours as we could in it, and we combined our powers because, personally, I'm not a big Dungeons & Dragons guy, and he is, so that way you can get a bit of both perspectives. Now, since okay. we often just do first impressions in Before You Buys, we thought it was important to at least give you the early heads up here. We've seen past the early access stuff, but we haven't seen the- One, if you actually uh, like the way this game is, in terms of content, quality graphics gameplay one if you actually like games like that two if you never played and you're not sure about it three if you don't like it whatsoever i'm kind of like in the two category because right now i'm trying to find new games because man i cannot just keep on playing call of duty gta battlefield and some story games here and there i gotta find like different games because call of duty is sucking ass right now dog the gta when is gta 6 coming out when are we gonna see that bunda bro next year or 2025 or never I'm not sure. When are we gonna see that Bruna? I don't know. The end gonna of find the new game. games. So just know that. But that being said, all signs. That guy is looking like Will Smith, right? <laughs> Yo, Bruh. from the side he was looking like Will Smith, but from the front he looks they like are Michael. Pointing to this being GK5. pretty damn great. Couple of little things here and there, but it's a pretty sprawling RPG for quest and character lovers. It's. I don't know if it was a YouTube video, but while he was saying it, kind of lagged right there. Little challenging, bit. but also has a staggering amount of flexibility for you to make mistakes, make some wrong choices Dang. and experiment and the game damn brothers but i get that protein right game now. just Holy. keeps going and you keep playing no matter what you throw at it it seems like it's always down to throw something back you don't need to know too much about dungeons and dragons universes you know this is a new game it's a new adventure new True. characters and you'll learn some of the lore as you go it can be over okay this guy needs to eat some protein my guy couldn't even pull that sword out there like damn bro you're a you're probably like one of the main protagonists, unless uh, you're not, but like, damn, eat something, like pull that sucker out, bro. Overwhelming, but I was able to get through it. And it's a fantasy world with a new, darker mystery afoot. 
the mind flayers are out there as a threat oh, no. and they're infecting people and <laughs> you and some others end Beyond up Beyond the aliens, lock yourselves in the basement this is what David Grush was talking about in the US Congress meeting ladies and gentlemen, lock yourselves in the basement the Martians are here with little mind flayer tadpole spore type things burying itself yeah. in your head and you yeah. gotta somehow get it out why did he, so did he sound like Reddit or Twitter uh, tw and like figure what? out what's going on. Now, that is like the very, very early setup of the game. If, if you played the early access, you Bro. know, uh, and for- Bro, like put your hand on, on top of it, not inside, dog. For anybody else, I'm not spoiling Bro. anything. Trust me, it goes much Ooh. further and dives hey. into more fantasy, political intrigue, the occult, warring factions, basically everything you'd expect from a fantasy game, but with a good, focus on strong characters mm. and relationships. Strong, strong characters. Uh, not they, they, not uh, men are becoming more females. Hopefully it's not that, hopefully strong characters. Chips. Like, but... And that's where a lot of the work and the writing and the branching storylines show. And it seems strong. really impressive. Even just with like a playthrough and loading <laughs> some different saves and messing around, there's a lot going on. So when you start, you yeah, choose- strong characters. Everybody clap it up, man. We got strong char characters. Diversity! It's from one of seven origin characters. But I mean, it's a, it, like, it's a game in that universe, so I'm kind of joking around. It, it makes sense to have like some uh, like characters looking like that. And the character's looking pretty odd. I mean, she's looking like a snack right now, though. These are all Damn. characters connected to the story with their own backstories, yeah, motivations, race, great. and of course, class type. And most of them are compelling and tempting, really, to select, but we ended up rolling our own custom character. You can also do that. Uh, you know, you, you create them, you change <laughs> their face, you give them a backstory and a class, and they still have agency in this. Yo, I thought he was gonna say you can give them like a back, uh, back massage, like a BBC or something like that. God Bruh. damn, okay. But backstory, guys, everybody, we must stay focused, brothers. Don't don't just a pom pom. Thank you for subscribing. Like, uh, like the video if you haven't already. Uh, I would appreciate it. Story, Thank you, just like buddies. anyone else. But good luck focusing on the main quest out there, man. There are a lot of distractions. Yo, pretty this chimpanzee, like, what's that? Like, chimpanzee bear mixed into it? Pretty much right out of the gate. And all of it is tempting. Owl! Owl face! Bruh. That's That's a lot. Lot, bro. Like they be changing creatures right now. It's like a like a owl, a bear, a, chi a chihuahua, a, 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 a bruh. Because it all seems thought out and interesting. Little quests yeah, will out. keep you intrigued. Little stories might hook you. The loot may not really always be super exciting at the end of a side quest, but XP. Uh, it's probably gonna be exciting. If a YouTuber says that, it's not that exciting. It's probably exciting, guys. He and a good adventure just manages to still make it worth it. To Eric, our resident Dungeons and Dragons fan, uh, this feels like oh, a damn. miracle. The, the production values alone. Damn, Goblet of Fire from Harry Potter? Put this in the realm of AAA gaming, but the actual gameplay is about as hardcore and- Yeah, she's gonna be strong and independent. <laughs> I'm gonna take this dragon while everybody's running. She's gonna be like, I'm gonna take it with my bare hands. You just watch and learn. Men are inferior. Men are always wrong. They're not even strong. They're just manipulating. You know, a little inaccessible to see RPG neophytes as it gets. This is a mm. hardcore computer RPG through and through, and computer Larian RPG. seemingly hasn't really made many compromises. You've got four party members total, which feels a little small compared to- I personally don't like a camera angle, uh, a game like Rage Shadow Legend like this, but he showed some moments where the game actually looks very, very decent, very, very good. So I think six you could get in the original games, but it does streamline things a bit. Combat is turn-based, yeah. but it- I, I like camera angle like that, a little bit closer. So it seems like that you can get closer. I'm pretty sure guys like Asmund Gold, they're gonna have a field day with this game. Tends to be quick and brutal, which is a welcoming change compared to how long certain encounters could last in Divinity 2. Uh, the game does a good job easing you into combat, but like once you're out of the tutorial, the gloves are off. Every encounter is a challenge, and, and they almost never feel stock or half-baked. Even okay. the smaller encounters usually still demand you to think and use everything and really be challenged. It's not often that you come across something and do two melee whacks and then it's dead. Like, no, this is not really that type of thing. Even at the start of the game, there are cool, memorable enemy encounters that feel like something out of a D&D session, like something that somebody just makes up. Like, uh, take for example, this part where an undead bursts out of a coffin to scare oh, you wow. and while you're stunned, it runs around breaking open more <laughs> coffins to get reinforcements. If oh, you're quick damn. enough and kill the one guy then nobody wakes up and it's not all oh just my. combat I oh my god bro oh my god oh yeah.
Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, for That's a computer wild. RPG, there are a lot of environmental hazards, and it's not just traps like you'd expect from a D and D game. There are areas where the most dangerous thing isn't the enemies, but the world itself. Mm. Like this burning building where you have to like put out fires to get through, or these explosive mushrooms that have to be carefully navigated. There's a lot of jumping too. Lots of like almost platforming sections where the only way to progress is- Yeah, dog, one of my IRL friend, he's, uh, he's loving it a lot. Personally, man, no hate on this game or I'm not liking it. I'm not uh, I, I'm not loving it I'm not disliking it or not hating it. Uh, it's just not my type of game But I just want to know a little bit more about this because I, I genuinely feel like that call games like Call of Duty has ruined My passion for gaming and I don't want to feel that way because always you're probably gonna in Call of Duty GTA story games right now There is nothing happening. I guess we can all collectively say gaming is dry But whenever you say gaming is dry There's always one guy that says that it's not dry You just feel like it's dry and if you're that guy I totally understand where you're coming from because yeah like for me gaming is very much dry but then you look at there are games coming out so i don't want to be ignorant on that because yep yeah, there are games coming out that's an that's a fact it just is about what types of game you're into and what types of game you play if you constantly play games like call of duty gta then yep yeah, those games are really really stale right now there's nothing happening and in general gaming is dry but still there is games coming out and games like this it's intriguing i mean i'm not fully sold on it high chances i'm not even gonna pick this game up i'm just gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it real with you i know some people would get triggered but i'm not even trying to i'm not even saying that in a hateful way i'm not even saying that in a bad way it's just that i'm not this is i'm not the target audience but i'm trying to learn about it i'm trying to see maybe I will is to jump and up, uh, with like everything else the moving powers are essential in this game just like larian's other games if you don't want to get bogged down and overwhelmed by enemies I want to. being able to either teleport depending on who you are or jump long distances is practically essential it can turn nearly impossible combat encounters much easier with the okay. right movement abilities. This sort of thing always keeps you on your toes, but it can also start to be a bit exhausting on the braid because <laughs> there's a very few combat encounters where you can take it easy, especially Dang. because unlike the OG Baldur's Gate- A thought so far, you guys like it or not like it, but also check this out, right? This literally just happened. I, I, I mean, damn bro, like, I don't understand like how this went down. There was like a PS5 giveaway. You probably heard the story, but you're not sure. Check it out. Otherwise, you're gonna be thinking about what truly happened. Uh, and you're gonna be thinking about it. You don't wanna do that. Just check it out and I will see you right there. 